Accuracy. Okay. This is a big topic. And a lot of people always say, you know, which one's more accurate? Which one's more accurate? The answer is there is no real answer because it depends. It depends on a lot of different things. So the easy one is the laser scanner. And I talked about, I touched on it just before. When you receive the laser scanner, you typically get a calibration certificate and it says this instrument was calibrated to some known standard or known reference. And you basically get uh, you know, a known uh, manufacturer stated accuracy. So you, you know that from you know, up to 25 meters and out until 50 meters or whatever, you, know, you can rely on the fact that the instrument is gonna fall within a certain specification. So that's good. That's easy to explain to somebody. It's, it's good to explain to other people, right? That really don't understand it. You can say, well, look, it's good to a couple of, of millimeters and you know, you're good to go. However, the error compounds depending on what you're doing. And so, for example, if I'm doing a long straight stretch of roadway with the laser scanner and I'm just doing one scan after another scan, after another scan, after another scan, the errors start to compound because it's not just the laser scanner. It, the, there are errors with registration. With When I put these little pieces of the laser scans together or these pieces of the puzzle, the individual scans together, and then they build up and build up. So errors can build up. Now, you can improve on that if you have some kind of ground control or survey control, sort of fixed points or reference points that tell you where you know the scan or where a specific point in a scan is located in sort of the big picture. But um, you know, accuracy there just just kind of depends. But typically fixed and typically well understood, let's say, for certain size areas uh, in for the laser scanner. Now let's talk about photogrammetry. So Photogrammetry doesn't have a fixed accuracy, and it depends a lot on a number of factors, and that gives people an uncomfortable feeling. So when talking about accuracy, people don't like to you know, say, well, it depends and can't really be sure because there's a number of factors here or whatever. So um, photogrammetry is a little bit trickier. And what kinds of things am I talking about here? Well, I'm talking about things like, for example, what if your images are slightly blurred? that's gonna cause a problem with the reconstruction. What if you're taking video and you're on a moving subject like an airplane or something like that, or a drone? That's gonna cause issues as well. What about the resolution of the camera? That's gonna cause issues as well. And then of course, you have to put the whole reconstruction together. You have to register or reconstruct all these images. And of course, that will cause you some problems as well. So um, when we're talking about photogrammetry, the answer is always it, that it depends. Now, there have been some studies that have compared sort of a similar sized object, let's say like a parking lot or something like that, to the laser scanner. And in fact, um, I did a study a while back where I took a parking lot and in the parking lot, what I did was um, take a total station and mark a bunch of, of points. Then we flew a drone and we created a 3D model and then we laser scanned it and we made comparisons all together. So what I found there was that although the drone works really, really fast, um, you know, the higher up you go, uh, the farther away you are, um, you don't typically get the same type of accuracy that you do with a laser scanner. And that's, you know, in a controlled test and in a smaller area. So, you know, if you have GPS coordinates, if you have control and you do a very, very big, big area, um, then photogrammetry and laser scanning may be about equivalent. So when it comes to accuracy, it's hard to say which one wins, okay? The answer is that it depends on what your scenario is, the size and scale of the environment or the object that you're scanning. So um, in some cases, photogrammetry would be the clear winner, especially if you're doing a very small object and, um, and you're getting below you know, a millimeter or two accuracy, while in other, er you know, in other areas where it's really, really big or medium sized, you know, a couple few hundred meters, sometimes the, the scanner will probably do a bit better. At least that's what I found anyway. It's a, it's a good way to do that. Now, if you're doing really, 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 really big roadways or miles of roadway and, and uh, you know, huge areas, then you know, if you're using ground control points, photogrammetry and laser scanning will probably get you about the same, okay, about the same. But again, it depends and there's a lot of gray area here.